What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is currently the middle of summer in Texas, so the best time to make this video is right now at 6 in the morning while it's still 79 degrees. But a year ago, I made my very first YouTube video of me plasti dipping my bow, and I said I was going to make a six month update video about it, and that was a year ago, so this is definitely six months behind. But I know a lot of you actually subscribed to this channel just for that video, so I still needed to make it. Finally, I had the time for it. And here is the update video on my Plasti Dipped Hoyt Carbon Defiant. It has been holding up. That still has a broadhead on it. It has been holding up surprisingly well because for the most part, I don't really take care of my stuff. I definitely beat it around and put it through the ringer. But... I'll show you a couple of spots that have had a couple problems after I take this quick shot. This is actually my very first shot. And oh, it's pretty good. It's had to be probably three or four months since I've touched my bow, honestly. I've been so busy with work, but 40 yards, I just smoked it. So, um, Let's take a look at everywhere where there has been problems, and then I'll let you know if you should do it or not. Hopefully y'all are focused in on me well. The main problem you're gonna run into is where you hold your bow the most, which of course is gonna be the grip. Hopefully y'all can see that it definitely has wear on both sides of where I hold the grip. Now, the thing is, is I don't use an actual grip that came with my bow i took it off because i really like a slim grip so if you were if you replace the grip that came with your bow it really shouldn't be that bad of a problem i'm surprised i didn't get really any wear on the back side it's really just the sides but if you had an actual bow grip in the way then there really wouldn't be much of a problem the next part would be um Whenever I put it in a bow case, since I'm in college, I always have to put it in a bow case and then I keep it inside my truck because I can't put it, I can't leave it inside my dorm. Finally, we have an apartment this year, so I'm not gonna have to worry about that anymore. So this thing has definitely been in 100 plus degree weather, which I highly don't recommend leaving your bow in high temperatures, but I mean, that's all I had to do. And heat wise, this bow has still held up amazing, but please, I don't recommend doing it, but leaving it in the case there has been a couple um wear marks i bet there's a wear mark up here just a little bit on the inside right there really not that bad for a whole year of um wear and tear next spot would be let's let's take a look at these dampeners because i know a lot of you are probably curious about how the dampeners held up here's the dampeners on let me get in the better lighting. Oh, it's kind of hard to get this. There's a little bit of blue showing. The original uh, dampener colors was blue, if y'all remembered. That right there, that wear is from also being in the, in the case. Definitely some wear right there on those dampeners. I really don't know how that got there. That's probably just normal, normal wear. You do have the a couple, the occasional scratches in random places. I'm hope I'm hoping all this is focusing well. You got a couple nicks there. Um, let's take a look at the quiver. Actually, before we move to the quiver, here's another really. I'm really surprised this part held up so well. This um, string stop right there. I think that's what it's called, a string stop has held up very well. I have put several thousand shots through my bow since last year. And it's actually just starting to wear around the sides. It's not wearing right in the middle where I thought it would be where it's constantly hitting it. So I'm really surprised about that. And it hasn't really started peeling anywhere where there wasn't paint. Like it's not peeling right there at all the paint on my site i actually had the site painted 
probably a year before I even plasti dipped my bow. All that red, still completely fine. It is wearing. One second. On the fourth hole, but that's just because hopefully that's focusing right there. Uh, let me. There you go. Fourth hole, there's some wear, but that's just because that's where I always adjust my sight to and you can't see it anyways so it's not that big of a deal so just like that I just wore it down again I don't really care though now we can move to the quiver so the quiver definitely got way more wear I'm really not sure why the sliding is so bad it definitely had a lot more wear. I'm guessing, actually, you know what? Whenever I put it in my bow case, it probably just scratched around. It has some water on it right now from the morning view. I never painted this bottom half, so that's why it's like that, but it's not that big of a deal. But overall, big chip right there. Overall, it really, I mean, for a year's worth of hard use, it's not that bad. Let me take a few shots and then We'll talk about a conclusion about whether you should do it or not. just a little bit low at 60. I definitely just smelt a skunk while pulling arrows, but let's take it out to 100. definitely not the tightest group in the world but for my first group in like first hundred yard group in several months I mean I'll take it it just means we got to practice more look how look how ugly these buildings are this used to be like trees and fields it was so beautiful and now they just built an Amazon plant over there they have these two new buildings I don't even know if they know what's going to be in it I kind of hate it, but it is what it is. Final verdict of plastic dipping your bow. The project was definitely fun. If y'all go back to the original video, I'll actually link that video in the description, or I guess I'll have it like around here on the video at the very end of the video, so you can click on it. Um, it was definitely a fun project, and. The original reason why I did it was just because I hated the, the Ridge Reaper camo on here and I hated the mismatch because it was Ridge Reaper camo and then the stabilizers, the front and rear stabilizers were Kuyu, so it really didn't match up very well. Um, so I painted it. The limbs were too hard to paint, so I kept them, the Ridge Reaper camo, but it's minimal. It's kind of cool having a little bit of camo in there. There is a little bit of wear and tear, but that's just gonna happen. Now, if you take care of it, it's really not gonna tear much at all. I just, I throw my bow around. And for how much I, I put through my bow, I'm surprised it's held up that well. Um, now, if you actually want to make your bow look better, by painting it a different color and you want to do it the right way don't do it this way take it to um, i guess a cerakote shop would do it i know there's some online places where you could send it to them and they specialize in painting bows i don't i don't know the names of them but 
I think his name is Zach Griffith. He's done a lot of custom bows. He hasn't done them, but he sent them off. So if you look at Zach Griffith on YouTube or Instagram, you'll definitely be able to find some of his videos. And he has some crazy color bows. Wide out, mar complete maroon, stars and stripes. It's pretty crazy what he's gotten on his bows. But, I mean, it's cool. You're definitely going to have to pay a premium price compared to a $10 can of spray paint. But it's not that bad. The wind's picking up, and I actually have to, I have to go to work early. So... I'll, I'll finish all out here. But by the way, the rubber dampeners held up very well too. Anyways, I hope y'all have an amazing rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe. If you haven't seen the very first video of completely what I'm talking about, I did a whole like how-to video on how I did this. So go check out, it's my very first YouTube video. Um, I don't know if I said it, but make sure to subscribe. My Instagram will be down in the description whole lot of thermal content coming uh, towards y'all big news um i can't wait to announce that to y'all but got to give it a few more weeks probably and then yeah big news but love you guys so much i will see y'all in the next video i feel like i'm missing something i don't know oh well i'll see y'all later